In this fourth episode of Show Me the Data, we will dive into personal data and the world of big tech. One of the biggest problems of our digital world is the information asymmetry. We don't know which information is being collected about us and how that data is being used to manipulate us. We will first look at the charts published by journalistic platform The Correspondent. Let's start with these line charts showing the market value of the 10 biggest companies per sector, comparing finance, pharma, oil and tech. This gives some context to the big in big tech because you can see that their size is of a completely different order than the other industries. You might wonder, how did these companies become so big? You could think that they are innovative and visionary, but what they are really doing is buying all possible competitors whenever they get too big. This effectively creates a monopoly for those big companies. The next visualization shows just that. These are the big five of the tech industry where Alphabet is the parent company of Google. Every tiny bubble is a company. Let's see what happens. The companies that are taken over are usually in areas where they don't have much data yet, such as education and finance. But most are in the field of artificial in intelligence, which thrives on massive amounts of data. You might recognize some of the names that have been bought by the big five. Instagram was bought by Facebook, LinkedIn by Microsoft, YouTube by Google. The takeaway of this visualization is that we should realize that for a large part of our digital infrastructure, we are dependent on just a few giants. So now we got some information on the macro level, but the information asymmetry also plays a role on the individual level. Do you know which data is being collected about you? I don't think so. Fortunately, the General Data Protection Regulation, or GDPR, gives us the right to request a copy of all our personal data stored by a particular service. But this received data is hard to understand or analyze by yourself. Totally in the spirit of show me the data, the Fraunhofer Institute created an amazing tool for exactly this. It is called Transparency Vis, and it helps you gain insights in your own data. They also show you how you can request a copy of your data. So that's what I did. What you see now is my personal internet activity on several platforms. Every circle is an activity and you can see the details by hovering over it. But I want to show you how pow powerful just this overview can be. Do you notice something peculiar about my online behavior? And now if I tell you that I've had multiple depressions over the past years, look at the chart again. Do you notice the empty vertical bands where I was very passive for months? You have to realize that for these big tank companies, we are the product, not the customer. Our well-being is not their primary interest. And in our weakest moments, we might act more impulsively. I hope you see that a company having so much personal information about you can be very problematic. Our democracies are based on the idea that every individual is sovereign in their actions and decisions. But this sovereignty is threatened. I encourage you to discover the data behind your own internet activity by using this tool. And remember, the internet never forgets.